So here I am, all geared up, ready to hit the woods. But unfortunately, my scooter had other plans. And the day was done. Yes, my controller has some water in it. A whole lot more than that. So here we are. Supposedly, this is my new controller that I waited way too long to get. It was supposed to show up. 12 days ago. This is the condition of my old controller. Yeah, it got water in there bad. It had mud and everything in there. Still some mud in there. This is not an OEM controller. This is an aftermarket. Look, it already comes with a bend in it already just something for me to straighten out because it was packaged so well this does look like it uses a little bit better sealer on the ends I lend a little more confidence to that on here uh, this may not prove to be so watertight in fact it's loose but it can be snugged, so I shall. But yeah, this is not going to be a watertight fitting. What is important is that it does say 36 volt DC, 1000 watt. And that's what I needed. And the right kind of plugs. So, let's see what we got. Charging. Sport. Brake light, brake, power locks, indicator, brake, hmm. derailleur, don't have a derailleur, brake, and I have no clue what this goes to. Uh oh. I believe I tried to save money guess what even though in the breakdown on the diagram it showed everything was going to fit but guess what I don't believe it will these are wrong back to freaking square one well as you know last I indicated this controller that I received for $25 instead of the OEM controller which cost with shipping probably $70 when it arrived these plugs did not match what these plugs are I started to return on this the seller sent me a label that's going to cost me fifty dollars sorry forty five dollars to return it a twenty three dollar item I figure if I went to the post office it's going to cost me ten dollars to return a twenty three dollar item so for $13, I thought it was worth investigating whether this would really work or not. So here we go. First thing I had to do, as you see here, these are the battery wires. I had to take the plugs off. These are the motor wires. 
and I did the same on the old controller. Now these are the old because they have to they have to match up. They have to match up with this battery connector and this motor connector. So I removed these from the old ones and I marked them. That one's B for battery. And I've got the plus, positive, and negative marked on that one. And I've got the plug for the motor control, motor. And then I had to play around with that one to figure it out, but I knew which one was negative and which one was positive. Otherwise, on the motor controller, if you get it wrong, the motor turns backwards. Not so bad. If you get it wrong on the battery connector, a whole lot of bad can happen. So make sure you're for sure you get this one right. Okay, red positive in most cases, and black negative. So, the ones I had to remove from the new were these, and that's and were these connectors. And why did I have to remove these and put these on? Because if you notice, let's take for instance the battery connectors. That's got like a minus one symbol on it, and this one, they're in parallel. You can't see that, but if I show you the battery, you can see they're in par they're in parallel. So this was never going to hook up to this. Not, not going to happen. For safety's sake, I'm going to install my motor and battery plugs onto the new controller. Do not touch these because if the capacitors inside, if the capacitors in here are charged, they shouldn't be unless you've been toying with it this will arc so don't connect these two inadvertently so I'm looking for my battery here's my battery there's my positive there's I gotta figure out which way it's gonna lock in pretty sure I see it's gotta go that way it's gotta follow the groove because there's there's these little wings these little wings here they have to go in the groove and follow the wings. So it has to go in like that. I'm on the positive side, push it in, and it should lock in. And it is locked in. Now do the same with the negative. Okay, that's in. That's battery. Now, got to go to motor. Motor. I recall when I tested it that blue turned out to be the positive and I didn't indicate that on here anyway I just said some memory thing so I'm going with it blue is positive and it's only going to go in one way I'm pretty sure it's this way and I just gotta shove it on in there yes it worked okay good so Pay attention when you take it apart so you can figure out how it goes back together. There we go. Okay, so now, now I've got the new motor controller plug, the old motor controller plug, the old battery plug on the new controller, which by the way is not very well insulated from water. This is it. So I'm going to loosen this. Once I've made a test, I'm going to loosen that. I'm going to pump some silicone in here and then tighten it down. Tighten it down because it pinches on the wires. And that way, get a little bit more water resistant. It'll never be waterproof. There are no vents. There are no vents on this controller. Those have heat sinks and some screws but no vents now there were some other things unique to this one I followed all of these plugs I read them all that one says sport I know where that goes when I took these off there were some of them that didn't make sense so this one I marked with IN that's for the indicator 
and this one SP is for sport. The others made sense. I know which one of these. This one goes to the charging port. I know that because the charging port's right here. This one is a single wire that goes up through the channel and this is my key. This is my ignition and I figured that one out. I know that. And the only other one remaining here is the brake which goes up to the goes up to the uh, brake handles. There's a little switch up there. Uh, of which only one's working right now, but that's another issue altogether. The only one that didn't make sense to me on this one is this one that says derailleur. Yeah, derailleur. So, but it's the only three wire plug. And the only three wire plug in the harness goes to the throttle. That's this one. The wire wire colors don't match. But we're going to try it. And we're just going to go for it. So we're going to put that one there. We're going to hook up the ones we know. And the ones I need to run a test. My derailleur slash throttle. This one is for sport. And this one says sport on it. So we'll hook up sport. Hooking up sport. This one says indicator. And this one is IN for indicator. We'll put indicator, indicator. Now we gotta, we'll hook up the key switch, find the key switch. On this, it says brake, power locks. This says power locks. I assume that since there is no other one to, to come close to indicating a key switch or turning the power on and off, I go to power locks. Now here's brakes. I'm going to send to, there's two sets of brakes here. This one says charging port. I'm not going to worry about charging port yet. But when I do, I'm going to pay attention to the fact, positive and negative. Make sure that the red wire matches the red and black matches the black. But I'm looking for a brake. This one says brake lights. I don't have a brake light. And here's another one that says brake. And they're both yellow-black. So I'm just going to plug one brake into that. You may not use all the plugs. And, in, and this, this is an Uber Scoot. This this is an Uber Scoot, 36 volt, 1,000 watt. It doesn't look like the one and you're going to find online because I did a camo paint job to it, custom camo paint. So it doesn't look anything like the one online, other than the fact that all the frame components are, are correct. So now we all but the charging port is hooked up. Let's hook up the motor first. This is motor, motor to motor. Bad connections will generate heat. So make sure your wires go in all the way. There we go. All the way. And battery. Again, make sure that they are all the way in. Now, that's connected. My one-third the price controller is wired in. Here's my key switch and I've got it on blocks so I can spin that tire without causing any trouble. Let's turn that on. Okay, my indicator came on. That's good. This is my turbo button here. All it does is conserve some of your your battery power. So if you're out on good pavement you can re, you know get a little more distance out of it now hit the throttle I hear something good let's see if it's going the right direction yes it is so with a little finagling I got that controller that I wasn't going to return functioning. How long will it function? I cannot tell you. But so what does this mean? That I need to put this together, run it around the neighborhood for a while, and get back to fishing. But my biggest adventure that I wanted to do, the, and when I found out this one quit, is my adventure in the woods and follow an old 1800s logging trail. 
back in Chassawiska Swamp. That's what I really want to do.